A good graphic design exercise if you want to work on illustration and typography is creating a restaurant menu. In this case, we're going to be creating a more personalized menu using our own lettering and mixing it with complementary illustrations. The theme for the menu can be divided into two the type of restaurant or cuisine, and the graphic style of the menu. That is, we could have the menu for a Mediterranean cuisine restaurant and go for a classic style or a modern one. I'm choosing a Japanese restaurant and we're going to be picking our style next. We're going to be sticking to a Japanese style for our menu. We could go for a very traditional style or a modern one, but in this case we're going to be using a retro vintage style, reminiscent of the 70s and 80s, with a very limited color palette, thick line illustrations with patterns and bold typography. Once we have the type of restaurant and the style of our menu, we can move to the sketching phase. Remember to create a document with at least 72 dpi for sketches, but over 150 dpi for the final printed document. We're going to grab a few words from our menu, like the name of the restaurant, the name of one of the categories, and then the name of one dish. If we know already what kind of letters we want depending on the style we choose, we're going to start trying to imitate that style on our three samples, keeping in mind the hierarchy of the menu, from the title being the most important one to the name of the dishes. Once we have that, we can try again with the numbers for the prices of the menu. We won't make them perfect, as we'll be modifying them when we do the layout. From all of our dishes, we're going to choose, in this case, one of each category, and we're going to try again, as we did with the lettering, to emulate the style we already chose. We can look online for references for those dishes and look for the most striking ones. Once we have the typography and the illustrations, we're going to move to the layout of our menu. We're going to separate our menu into two parts, the front and the back. We're going to be putting the desserts and drinks at the back and the rest at the front. We'll divide the front and the back using the dishes categories and play with the position of the illustrations and the text in each of them. And we'll use some graphic elements such as lines or boxes to separate them. The name of the restaurant is going to be the most important information and is going to be at the top of the page in a bigger size than the rest of the text. The illustrations are going to be next when it comes to size, then the name of each category and the name of the dishes. We're going to use just three colors for our menu, red, dark blue and off-white. This last one is going to be used as the background for the menu, so the other two are the ones we're going to be using for the lettering and the illustrations. When we have the sketches for our menu, we can go for the final layout. Now's the moment to change anything before starting with the final illustrations and lettering, as once those are done, it's going to be much harder to be moving things around. Clip Studio Paint